Hey beer nerds, this is Ryan from Beer by the Numbers. A few weeks ago, I did a video on the five worst failed beer related Kickstarter campaigns of all time. If you haven't seen that one, check the link in the description below. Now normally I don't do follow up videos so soon after covering a topic, as I'm going to keep a good amount of variety on the channel. But a new crowdfunding campaign just launched and I just can't ignore this one. This new campaign is attempting to raise a ridiculous sum of $213 billion in order to buy AB InBev to stop them from undermining independent craft beer around the world. Now, obviously this campaign is a joke and it's brought to you by the Brewers Association, the same folks behind the relatively new independent craft beer label. This is clearly a nice publicity stunt to highlight their strategy around the phrase independent beer. Ever since AB InBev started buying up large craft breweries, the Brewers Association, who represents small and medium sized breweries here in the US, has been trying to distinguish their craft breweries as independent so consumers know they are buying from their members and they don't have to support some of InBev's questionable business practices. You can really see this in their campaign video and in their campaign catchphrase, both titled, Take Craft Back. Now at the time of writing this video, they have pledges totaling $441,500 from 1,435 backers. To be clear though, there's no money on the line for this campaign. The website doesn't charge you any money, they don't take any credit card information, and making a pledge only signs you up for their email list. But it does look like they may send you a free hat or t-shirt if you promise some fake dollars. I personally signed up for a free t-shirt. This is a little bit dangerous as a marketing stunt though. Six years ago a social media campaign to raise $200 million to buy the Paps Blue Ribbon brand. The organizers ran into trouble with the law when the SEC demanded they stop selling potential shares because they didn't file their offering with the SEC nor did they follow a myriad of other regulations related to the sale of shares in a company. This new campaign seems much safer and there's no one being charged nor any bit of ownership being promised, but I kind of wonder what AB InBev's response will be. They have a second page on their website listing some reasons why they want to buy InBev in the first place. Some of them are really good, others don't really make a ton of sense. But all of them are kind of weirdly written, in my opinion. One of the good ones would be this one, telling consumers that AB InBev leverages its relations with distributors to push out craft beer brands. This is true, AB InBev has often gotten in trouble for illegal pay to play schemes and questionable marketing tactics. But instead of mentioning any of those things, they just call InBev corporate overlords and big meanies. I mean, I get the point they're trying to make here, and I agree with them, but I can't help feel a little talked down to or condescended to as they boil down this extremely complex issue into, they're mean, we're nice, so don't buy their beer. And then there's this card, Brewers vs. Bankers. Let's see what it says on the back. When you think of craft beer, you don't think about a publicly traded company worth $213 billion for whom the bottom line is everything. Independent craft brewers aren't like big beer. We're not numbers people. We're more driven by people and our principles than by profit. We're pretty sure we have a calculator somewhere, but we're not sure where. We're beer people. Brewing beer our way for our community is all we want to do. Okay, so I get this is a marketing campaign, but this language is a little too fluffy even for my taste. Again, they're just saying AB InBev is greedy and we have, quote, principles, whatever those are, and they're bad so don't buy any beer from them. You know, I agree, treating beer as nothing more than a way to make money is a great way to get some low quality beers, that's for sure. But look. You don't get 5,000 plus local and regional craft breweries across the country if it isn't profitable to open them. 
And seriously, no calculators? Come on, even a low quality homebrew operation like mine needs to take some measurements and do a little math as part of the brewing process. Regardless of this weird marketing language, I actually really like this campaign. I think it's really creative and the website is pretty nicely designed. I do worry just a little bit because craft beer is an industry that has reputation of being filled with hipsters or overly sensitive people that talk down to you if you don't pick the right beer to drink. And I think some of the reasons given for the campaign kind of reinforce that on that second page. I've got a link to their website in the description below. Head on over and check it out and then be sure to come back here and post a comment below to let me know what you think. Once again, this is Ryan from Beer by the Numbers and I'll see you in the next video.